Last night marked the first Saturday night of phase two in the reopening of North Carolina, and that comes with more freedom, but also a new warning. A record number of people tested positive for COVID-19. Yeah, the state reported more than 1,100 people tested positive from Friday into yesterday, and the previous daily record was 853. In the last hour, the state released new numbers, and here they are. It includes nearly 500 new cases and over 23,000 total cases, 589 are in the hospital. Now that makes social distancing even more important and it could be even more challenging though this weekend. Yeah, lots of people are out now that restaurants reopened under phase two and it's a holiday weekend. Channel 9's Deshaun Brown checked on how Saturday night played out in South End. Throughout the night, the crowds here really started to pick up here in the South End area, but one owner told me this is still only a percentage of what they would normally see during this time of year. It's Saturday night in Charlotte in the first under phase two. That means restaurant dining rooms and breweries can open, but it's not quite the same. Cautious, cautiously optimistic. Um, I, I know I'm not going to do the type of numbers that we normally did, but any, any amount of revenue is good to help pay expenses. Nine-year-old Sanaa Odoms was out with family and summed up their getaway in one word. Refreshing. Other emotions ranged from excitement to anxiety. I guess there's like a little bit. It's definitely in the back of the mind. Definitely want to make sure you're not sharing drinks and everything like that. Everybody is a little anxious. I just think that this soft opening is just a testament for where we are right now as a country. Here's where things stand in North Carolina. Just yesterday, the state health department reported a record number of positive cases in a single day at more than 1100 people. Then said of the increase, it's concerning. The brickyard owner, Anthony Cardone, is concerned for a different reason. I, I'm, I'm upset about it. He was expecting to reopen to this weekend, then learned bars like his did not make the cut. What kind of evidence do they have to say that we can't follow the same guidelines solely because we don't have a kitchen? Many restaurants that do have a kitchen didn't have their normal crowd, but told us it's a start. Just doing those common sense things, I think we can manage for right now. And for perspective, that owner says this is about 40% of the numbers they would normally hit right now. So it will be an uphill battle. But then I also heard from another restaurant that chose not to reopen their dining room, citing safety reasons. Back to you. Well, phase one only lasted for two weeks, but we are expecting a longer phase two. For phase three, we have to meet certain requirements. That includes a downward trend of COVID-19 tests. Right now, the state says phase two will last at least five weeks until June 26th. Well, we'll be watching for an update from the state this week about what phase three could look like. In the past, Governor Cooper said restaurants and churches would be able to increase capacity. High risk groups will still be encouraged to social distance and rigorous restrictions will continue at nursing homes and group care centers. South Carolina is taking more steps toward reopening. Governor McMaster allowed attractions and movie theaters to reopen in time for the holiday weekend. Yesterday, the state announced 248 new cases of COVID-19 and six new deaths. About 9% of tests have come back positive. Well, if you ride a CATS bus or the light rail, those free rides are ending soon. CATS says fare collection will resume on June 8th. Also, buses in the blue line will run more frequently starting on that day. Back in April, CATS buses began limiting capacity to 20 riders, and those riders were asked to wear masks and to stay six feet apart.